has a bigger pool? Circus fleas. And if you put on the glasses, I'm just gonna smack him off your nerve face. So LASIK, well, maybe I should- <laughs> Larry! Hey, you better watch out. This place is crawling with nerds. This, as you know, is a standardized test. If our kids don't do well on this, we're going to lose funding and the very special status we worked so hard to regain last year. What status was that? A school that can stay open. No, we're definitely going to have to get these students to pass their test or we'll lose everything. And unfortunately, Mr. Bremer, who teaches the students that they are the key to all of this, had to take the day off. He did? What for? Didn't you hear? He wanted to have a goodbye with his dying mother. Goodbye. My God. I have no mother now. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of laughs. I know, that was a bummer. I thought goodbye was gonna be like a bisexual thing. Oh, you think everything's bisexual! It's not a joke, you guys. It's really sad. Well, then it belongs on a friggin' episode of House. Anyway, Mr. Bremer teaches a group of students that need to do well, so Ennis will be in charge of inspiring them. Ennis? But that's me. No, 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 I don't inspire. You're confusing me with Corey Haynes' portrayal of Lucas. Well, if Ennis doesn't want to do it, I'll do it, Sue. You can call me your calculator because you can count on me. I wore that on a t-shirt every day from age six till the dog attack. Stuart, you can't work with these kids. We all know how gullible you are. I may be many things here, including clinically insane, but I am not gullible and I resent your... Hello, what's this? I just received an electronic mail, or electronic M, from the Prince of Scambobwe. He needs my $5,000 to help him regain his throne so he can begin his search for a virgin bride. Stuart, you cannot believe...